Hi everyone, my name is Jen Johnston and I am the SEO team lead at Details. Here, we work with a lot of brands who are wanting to not only sell on Amazon, but they're also looking to hold up their brand image on that marketplace. One of the most common ways to do that is to enroll in Amazon brand registry. So today I'll be showing you what the early steps in that application process look like. And I'll also be covering a few of my favorite marketing tools that come with brand registry. To start, you can simply search for Amazon brand registry in Google, or you can simply type in this URL into your browser. Before we jump into the application process, I'd like to quickly go over some of the immediate benefits of enrolling in brand registry. Once you're enrolled, you'll immediately have a better control on your integrity as you'll now have greater influence of your product listings on Amazon. You'll also get access to some powerful search tools that will assist you in finding sellers who are using your images and branding that might not be authorized to do so. The tool will then help you report on these violators. Lastly, what this page calls out is the automated protections that will help you proactively remove suspected infringing or inaccurate content. The marketing perks are not listed on this page, but some of those items include early, early reviewer program, a content and brand stores, all exciting things that sellers who are not brand registered won't have access to. Now let's shift gears to what is needed to sign up in this orange box on the right side, you will see a quick summary. The first thing that we like to ask our partners is, do you have a registered trademark with the United States patent and trademark office? You cannot apply for brand registry without a trademark, so starting that process with the USPTO is the ultimate step one since it can take months to get a trademark. The next requirement from Amazon is being able to verify you are the rights owner of the trademark or you are at least in communication with them. You'll understand this more later. And last but not least, you must have an Amazon Seller Central or Vendor Central account to create your brand registry account. But don't fret if you don't already have one, Amazon does provide you a link right here to create a new account for free. So if you confirm you have those three things, then it's time to start the application process. When I click enroll, you see it prompts me to choose what market I would like to enroll my brand in. For demonstration purposes, I will click on the United States, but please know if you are interested in enrolling in other markets, you must have a trademark registered in those countries. All right, so once you sign in, the first time you do this, you'll be asked to fill out some basic company information like address, business name, etc. But since we've already done this, you'll see this took me straight to our brand registry dashboard. Once you're on this dashboard, you can click this enroll a new brand link, and this will begin the application process. There are three steps to complete your application, and these are listed across the top. First, you'll start with the brand eligibility, next intellectual property, and then lastly, it will go over the characteristics of your brand. The first question on this page is asking if your product and packaging has the brand on them. If your product does not, then you'll see Amazon will not let you move any further in this process as you must have your brand on your product and your packaging. So I'll go ahead and click yes here. Next, it's asking if you want to enroll more than 10 brands, and it is rarely that you will, so you can just click no here. And then the last thing it's asking you to do is provide the brand name to be registered, and this must be case sensitive and match exactly what is at the USPTO. So I'll just type a brand in here. And other good practice I would like to call out is ensuring that this brand name right here matches what is already on your Amazon listings in this byline. So as you see right here, the O and jump off is actually capitalized. So I'm gonna go back to this form and correct that. The reason I like to do this is this will ensure your products sync properly to your brand registry. Now we can go to step two, which is intellectual property. This is the step that gathers your trademark information. As you can see, Amazon does accept both word marks and design marks. So whichever you have registered is the one that you will choose in this dropdown. You will then also provide your registration number as well as the country that your trademark is registered. Unfortunately, this page is all the further I will be able to show you of the application process since it does require this registration number. But I can tell you that the final step of this application will be asking for additional information about your brand. It will ask about whether your product uses UPCs or EANs. It'll ask what categories your products are in, where else your products are being sold, location of manufacturing, and other areas of distribution. Once all these fields are completed, you can submit your application to begin the Amazon review process. We've seen these reviews can take up to a week and sometimes even longer, 
but once Amazon has confirmed your trademark qualifies for brand registry, they will then send a unique alphanumeric code to the registered trademark owner. You'll be tasked with getting this code and then providing it to the Amazon brand registry team to confirm your authority to own this brand on Amazon. Once Amazon receives this code for you, it can take up to a couple of days for your account to reflect, but you should now have one registered brand listed here on your account dashboard. Now that you've seen most of the process to register your brand, I would like to show you a couple of the marketing tools that come along with this enrollment. First is the early reviewer program. This is a great tool that will help new products earn their first reviews. Here on this listing, you can see that many of the reviews are actually generated through this program. And you can tell this by seeing this early reviewer rewards badge that is listed on multiple reviews. Now let's look at the dashboard. As you can see here, there is a $60 enrollment fee for this program, but all your ASIN needs to do to qualify is have less than five reviews. Once enrolled, Amazon will begin proactively reaching out to consumers of this product, incentivizing them to leave a review in exchange for Amazon credit. It is only a couple bucks that they would earn, but it's enough of an incentive for consumers who wouldn't normally leave reviews. Amazon will keep proactively reaching out for reviews for up to one year from the enrollment date or until five new reviews have been generated through the program. Another cool thing about this dashboard is it provides direct links to each of the reviews that are generated, so you can quickly take a look at how your product is doing and what reviews are coming in. The next popular marketing tool that comes with Brand Registry is the access to A-plus content on your listings. As I scroll back up this listing, you will see that I come to an area that has some branded imagery and other formatting. This is our A-plus content. As you can see, it is quite a ways below the fold, but it is still a great opportunity for you to include more assets, include more meaningful content, as well as link to other product listings from your brand. This is a great opportunity to get exposure for other product lines, and Amazon has even said that A-plus content can improve conversion rate by up to 11%. The last tool I'd like to show you is Amazon Brand Stores. These act as a branded landing page that truly look like a website within the Amazon channel. And here you can feature as many or as few products as you want in an easy to navigate channel. Amazon does provide templates to create these stores, but you can also work with their provided modules to create what works best for your brand. Consumers can navigate to these stores from within the listings like I just did a few seconds ago, or you can implement inbound marketing campaigns where you're sending external traffic straight to these landing pages. Now let's look at what insights we get from Amazon brand stores. Amazon provides a handful of metrics that help you monitor the success of your store. It can track visitors, sales, units sold, and much more. Within this data, you're able to modify the date, to see the metrics over time. You can take a look at traffic details specifically over time, seeing how it fluctuates as well as sales over time. You can also drill down and look at pages to see which ones are the most popular and which are generating the most revenue. And then you can even take a look at sources to see where all your sales are coming from. All in all, this is a really powerful branding tool for those that are trying to uphold their integrity on the Amazon market. Well, this concludes what I wanted to share today regarding Amazon Brand Registry and these marketing tools. We truly believe Brand Registry is vital to your brand's success on the channel, and if you and your brand decide that you want to apply for Brand Registry but hit some hiccups during the application process, please feel free to reach out to us at etails.com or comment on this video, and we will do what we can to help you out. Thank you so much for listening today.